This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. Well, it's Sunday, you know what that means. It's time for Sega News. Oh boy, let's see how we're gonna have fun with this one. And today's topic is Sega prepares for a console comeback, and they're about to get wrecked. Gee, what would have probably gave it away? Yeah, so Sega, apparently their company's about to turn 60 years old uh, on June 3rd. And uh, yeah, like, you're probably wondering, Sega, why are you entering the console market? Like, uh, didn't you try that and failed miserably? Well, on the second half of the, uh, well, basically you failed miserably with the Sega Saturn, but that's neither here or there. I could talk about the, I could talk about the failures of, of, uh, those consoles in another future video. Probably will. Let me know what you think. Yeah, apparently Sega is, te is teasing some big news for June 4th, or what could they be thinking? Are they going to enter the console war? Is the Sega Dreamcast 2 going to come out? Like in a lot of, uh, you know, there's so many videos out for the Sega Dreamcast 2 that are fan fan made videos that look pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie, but let's talk about let's talk about reality for a minute. In case you've been missing what I've been what I do, I'm on a personal mission against all things stupid. And Sega entering the console market again, stupid. They've been the personification of stupidity since 1995 when it comes to console games. Like seriously, let's talk realistic for a minute. Would you buy a Sega console if it were to come out right now, if it was to compete with the PlayStation 5, the Nintendo Switch, and the Xbox Series X? Ask yourself this question. Would you buy a Sega console right now if it were to come out? Yes or no? Now, besides the price of the console, why would you try to sell, why would Sega want to enter the console market right now in such a, you know, why right now? Like, you have to realize, okay, what are Sega exclusives going to be? What, are you going to make Sonic an exclusive? I mean, I'm assuming Sonic would have to be a console exclusive exclusive like before, but you got to realize it's 2020. You got to realize that Sonic is no longer cool. He's barely even relevant. The only time he's relevant, he's relevant is when people are making fun of him because of all the shit decisions that Sega has been making for the last 10 years. When was the last good Sonic game we got besides Generations? We've been getting mediocrity gear out. This recording, I don't even know what their 2021 game is. I'm gonna let you know right now, I'm betting you everything it's gonna be a Generations 3. I know that's what they're gonna go with. Sega is too lazy to come up with original level design, new characters, new mechs. I guarantee you it's gonna be Generations 3, you know, and they're just gonna recycle the same fucking two levels over and over and over again. It's gonna be Chemical Plant, it's gonna be Green Hill, it's gonna be the same fucking two levels recycled like it's been for the last decade. I guarantee you that's what it's gonna be. That's what the game's gonna be. Now, the, the, I understand the point of the story is, wow, are they really gonna enter the console market or are they just trolling? I'm honestly hoping this this is actually a hoax. If they wanna enter the console market, go ahead, Sega, just bankrupt your company and just, you know, I'm actually in favor of this, to be honest. If they were to go into the console market, they would go bankrupt immediately and then they would sell their assets to a company that actually would care. All right, sell it to Nintendo, sell it to Platinum Games, sell it to a company that can buy you out or buy out the, the intellectual properties and let the rest of that company burn to the fucking ground. Because I'm serious, I'm sick and tired of seeing Sega holding those intellectual properties hostage while you have other companies out there that can do something with them. Like seriously, enough is enough, but whatever. Let me know what you think about this. Do you want Sega, Sega to come back in the console wars? Let me know. Would you even buy a console from them? You got to think realistically. Would, you know, on what their exclusives would be. And if I know Sega, they would make it cheap as possible. Because that's what their company represents. They're fucking cheap. Alright. Later.